Here's a great question. When and why should you get a power of attorney? Well, the when is easy. The answer is yesterday. Why do I say yesterday? Let me tell you why. Anybody remember Terry Schiavo in Florida back in the early 2000s? She was a unfortunate uh, situation where she found herself in a persistent vegetative state early in life, and there were no advanced directives, no power of attorney, healthcare surrogate, or living will in place. And then her family spent a decade in court um, fighting over what they believed she wanted in this unfortunate situation. So what most people don't remember about that case is uh, she was in her late 20s when she suffered a catastrophic health event and became um, in a persistent vegetative state. So the answer is it can happen to any of us at any time. It could be a car accident with a brain injury. It could be a freak um, medical event. It could be anything. Now, of course, as we get older, um, statistically, we're more likely to have things like dementia, get strokes, and other things that could take away capacity. So the answer is, since you don't have a crystal ball and you don't know when you may lose capacity and need to put someone in charge of your legal, medical, and financial decisions, it needs to be done yesterday. Now, why? Well, let's answer that by answering, what if you don't have it and you lose capacity? Then you're stuck with a legal guardianship. I have a great video on why legal guardianships suck. They take time, they cost money, they're horribly inefficient, and why you don't want them. So if you have a power of attorney in place for legal and financial decision making, a healthcare surrogate in place for healthcare decisions and access to your medical records, and a living will, which is your pull my plug, don't pull my plug document, then you are good to go legally, medically, and financially if anything happens for the rest of your life that makes you lose capacity. So the win is should have already been done. The why is because if you don't do it and you find yourself without capacity, you will be spending tens of thousands of dollars over the rest of your life to maintain a court-appointed guardianship. Hope this answers your question. Have a great day.